Now, if you want to open a Windows app, it's not as simple as what we did with the other uh, Word and Excel. With this, you have to kind of make a link. So what we do is, if let's just try to do it first. So I go to open. So here I want to open, let's say the notepad. So let's go here and see if notepad exists. No, it doesn't. This notepad exists, but that's not the normal notepad that comes with Windows. And also I don't have the snipping tool. See, it runs out of letters. There's no snipping tool. In order to do this, what you need to do is leave this as it is. And you need to, as we can show here, go to run. So I'm just going to type in here, run. And over here, you'll see this box open, shell apps folder. I click OK and the applications open. So snip, snip, snip it to right click, create shortcut. We need to create shortcut and it says we can't do it here. It will be on your desktop. So I click yes and there it flies on my desktop and here it is. So now I need a safe place to put that. So I tend to put them all here. My shortcuts here and here's that one. If I put the snipping tool, it will just say, do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. And now I can simply drag the snipping tool and I do the shortcut, drag it on top here, copy. And that should work. See, it's a shortcut link. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put snipping and let's see if it actually snips. So I'm going to click it now over here and over here. And there it is. It just jumped up. See there. So it works like that. And the same with the notepad. If I wanted to add notepad. So let's say I want to add notepad here. I have to quickly um, drag this open thing. And in this area, I drag the notepad. And write notepad. And now click on this box. Now when I press this button here, notepad up pops a notepad and I can start writing. So there you have it. That's how to open any Windows app. These are the four most prominent ones, but now you know how to do it. If you don't wish to do it, just move on to the next part where we're going to open up the PDFs in different monitors.